y'all welcome back to imperfect plan so welcome if you're new so today i want to show you guys an update of a slightly new planner i'm using i know we're so early on in the year i didn't get rid of my other one but i did add an addition i guess i should say and then i want to do a quick haul of some planner items i just purchased from off of office from office depot i actually went in store to get them i didn't order them so let me show you all of what i got and then i'll show you guys the planner as well all right, so first I got some new pens. I got some gel pens and my favorite part about these is that they actually write in the color that they are. So I have a pink one, a navy blue, um, a gray, and then I also have a turquoise, a light turquoise color. And it's so pretty. Um, yeah, I gave you a little sneak peek of what I have in here, but I'll get to that in a second. Here is the next item I got from Office Max. It's just a leather planner. I'll show you the inside in a second. Um, it's the Junior Disbound Planner, by the way. And these are what go in there. So I'll set those aside as well. I also got some inserts for the Disbound, Disc Bound Planner. It's the Horizontal Weekly, and they are dated. Um, it's 2023, yeah. Ooh, 2023, what? Hold on, y'all, stop playing with me. Stop, you guys. Why are they selling 2023 inserts? And I bought, <laughs> I bought these in February of 2024. And they're not even, that's so crazy, y'all. But that should tell you how excited I was being in there. I love going planner shopping. In store is like the best. I love going to Walmart, um, Ross, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. This is my first time going to Office Depot to get any type of planner stuff. And it was so nice. It was so much stuff in there. I think I got a little carried away, a little excited. And I wasn't clearly not even paying attention. But at the same time, why would they? And it wasn't even on sale, I'm pretty sure. Like, why would they be selling 2023? Whatever. Anyway, <laughs> regardless, I can probably still use them if I want. But that kind of just blew me. I don't know. I, may, I haven't even opened them yet. So I may honestly take these back because... That's real crazy to me that they will still sell those. Okay, and then I also got some note paper. It's colored though, so I think it's pink. It's a peach color, blue, purple, so all pastel colors. Let me see if I'm gonna open this one actually. I haven't even opened these yet. Um, so here is that blue color. Okay, and then there's like a powder blue, yellow, and then a pink. Those are pretty. I think I'm going to use these in my Bible study planner because I have a lot of color in there and I really wanted some colored paper for that. And then I also got, this is actually what I went in there for because I knew they had this at one of the um, office maxes by, or office depots by my house. And I really wanted this. I have this in a pretty pink color, but I really wanted this turquoise. How pretty. And the thing about this cover is the material is, I don't know what it is, but it's so soft, um, it's durable. So it's not like a paper cover, but I just love how it feels. It's like a soft, rubbery, smooth surface. I don't know, but I really love it. Um, this is the junior size as well. I'm gonna use this as just a notebook. I thought I was gonna use this as my undated, um, like my smaller planner for the year. I think I'm gonna just do this as a notebook and it already came with note paper, so that's perfect. I'm gonna keep this just as is. And then I think I'm gonna put one of my adhesive pen loops on it so I can have a pen ready to go. But for now, let me set that aside. And then let's get to here. I have one more thing in here that I also purchased. Um, this little notepad here, I absolutely love this y'all. And y'all can see I'm actually using it those days where I don't even want to use an undated insert, I can just use this here. They have a larger checklist, a smaller checklist, and then just some note-taking ones up here. I think it's so cute and so convenient too. Okay, so the inserts I got, well, I um, made these in Canva. I really, like this turquoise color has just been, I don't know y'all, I have been loving it, the different shades um, lately. So I think these inserts go perfectly in here. They do have pockets on the side, one large and then two small here. And then this planner also came with this clear pouch so I can put some loose papers in if I want. The back is empty. It does have a pen loop already in there and it did come with uh, some monthly sheets. So it has some tab dividers. I'm not gonna put these in here because again, I'm just doing undated and then just 
monthly um, calendars within each month. And then it also came with some stickers. I don't think I showed you that. So that was nice, one page of stickers. I'm keeping that in here. But okay, so this is what I'm using this planner for y'all. So y'all know my all-in-one planner. Yes, we still have the big boy and I'm still keeping this, but it's so heavy and bulky. The thing is I get like this a few times throughout the year and I'm surprised that I got here this early this year, but um, I just got a little bit overwhelmed with lugging that thing around and y'all y'all know I work from my house so you probably like girl <laughs> you don't even have to carry it around with you but I do because I like to have my planner wherever I go in my home and because I'm home I don't like to go stir crazy and stay in one room so sometimes I'm in my office with my daughter sometimes I'll go to my daughter's room and let her play while I have my laptop set up in there because I have a portable desk that I can kind of roll around my house I'll be in the living room sometimes and the dining room outside even I'll just set my laptop and stuff out you know and just sit down on the patio um in my bedroom I don't know I'm just all over it so I don't want my mind to go stir crazy me to be looking at the same space all day long with my daughter there with me so I like to move around a lot and because of that it's so much easier having something I mean look at the size comparison hold on see how big this is and this thing is heavy I'm not gonna lie to you it's heavy so it's kind of annoying lugging around and the other cool thing about these kind of planners is that I can do this. I love being able to turn that front um, that front cover around like this and just have a smaller surface to write on rather than a ring planner, which you have to keep open like this. And it just, I don't know, it just gets kind of annoying, you know, lugging it around. But I'm still keeping it because again, it's my all-in-one planner. So I use this in the beginning of the week when I'm planning to, I don't use the schedule obviously, except for the calendar. I'll kind of check, you know, my goals and things like that in the beginning of the month. But throughout the week, I'm using it for, I'll always update this whenever I come up with a new non-toxic recipe. So different medicines, um, cleaning supplies, things like that. I'll write that in here. I also will always reference this. I probably should make another copy of this and put it in my smaller planner now, but I check which zones I'm doing for the week. My trackers, I still use this to track my orders, things I need to purchase, my reading log, and then checklists and notes. I don't really use those much now since I'm not using this planner as much, but then I also still use it for my business and content planning. So it's still in use. I have not gotten rid of it and I'm still gonna get, I'm, at some point I'm gonna go back to using this full time, but it's nice having something more compact. So what I have in here is just the monthly overview. It's the same one as in here. I just changed the colors up a little bit to fit the turquoise theme. And then I have my weekly overview. Again, same thing, it's undated. The one I have in my planner right now is dated actually, but it's the same exact layout my um, monthly or daily priorities on the side here, my weekly tasks, and then dinner plans down here. And then here, all I have is my undated daily sheets. I do have some extra weekly overview pages in the back. I don't think I printed any extra monthly, so I'll have to just print more each month. But um, this is how I'm gonna use this, y'all. It has been so, so helpful. You can see this week, I only planned one, two days of daily planning planner sheets and then I use this one no this one on Friday I just made a little checklist of a few things I needed to do and then I use this smaller one for Saturday because I only had a few things that I needed to remind myself of and then this is what I'm doing for today on Sunday I just made a list of things I needed to do content wise I didn't record any content yesterday on Saturday because I wasn't feeling well on my time of the month so I decided to do it all today on Sunday um, but that's it y'all I absolutely love this and it's so slim i'm not going to add any more sheets i'll just replace them as needed i want this thing as light as possible i have some space here if i want to add anything um again i don't think i'm going to add these tabs in because that's going to take up too much space but that is where i'll be planning in i know i said i was going to do the weekly review with y'all today and what i'm going to do is probably while i'm using this what I probably should have done, well, did I print them on the back of this? Let me see, nope. I think I'm just gonna, uh, I think I can still print them on here even though I have them hole punched. Or I can just do more, but I think on the back of these weekly overview pages, I'm just gonna do the weekly review on the back so I have that. 
But yeah, I know I said I was going to do that with y'all this week, but this week has, just to sum it up, has been really good, y'all. I have felt so much more relaxed today. I have been gotten out more on Monday. I was so overwhelmed. If, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Monday, I was so flustered and overwhelmed. Work was so busy. My daughter was kind of being overwhelming and a lot. So as soon as my husband got home, and he got home kind of early on Monday, he got home right at four o'clock. I logged out of my computer at four because <laughs> that's the time I log out and your girl headed out the door. Like I got dressed and I left and I actually went shopping. Um, I went to TJ Maxx. That's when I went to Office Depot. Um, I got myself something to eat. Like I had a good little time, just me by myself. And I'm gonna start doing that more. So I told my husband, I think um, I'm gonna pick a day throughout the week and I'll probably switch it up some days, but at least one day throughout the week, I wanna go out and do something just myself, just me. I don't wanna take my daughter with me. So I always, you know, <laughs> force myself to take her, not force myself, but I want her with me all the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm just used to having her around, but I know I need a break sometimes. So I'm gonna pick a day to start doing that more and yeah that overall it's been a good week but okay thank you guys so much for watching and until next time i'll see you then bye